Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civology, the study of civil engineering. Today in this video, we are going to learn that how to prepare for setting out of a building. In other words, you can say what are the steps involved in the layout of a building. This step starts after the drawings has been finalized and the NOC for starting of construction has been given by the municipal authorities then you go to your site along with your approved drawings and start layout of the building or any construction project on the site. So in this video we are going to discuss the steps involved in the layout of a building or setting out of a building on site. So let's start our today's topic. The first step is the site clearance. Before start of the any construction project, we need to clear the site. By clearance of the site, we mean clearing and grubbing. Clearing and grubbing involves the removal of grass, trees, ant hills and hill logs, etc. And removal of obstructions. By removal of instructions, it means old foundations, old drainage works, septic tanks, drainage or water supply lines, underground electric telephone cables or electric poles. So these obstructions have to be removed before the starting of the project or starting construction phase of any project. The next step is cordoning of the site. Cordoning of the site is very important for the safety of the public and to avoid trespassers and there should be warning signs installed at a suitable place visible to every person or to or visible to public passing by okay and it is also very important to protect against theft and robbery and such caution signs should be installed at suitable places the third step is availability of utilities utilities involves water okay if no groundwater is available connection can be obtained from municipal authorities later on can become part of the permanent water supply system as we all know that water is very important component for construction of any project because we need water for the usage of the labors and there should be shelter homes and temporary houses for the living of the labor okay so water is also needed for construction as you can say for mixing of the concrete and for curing purposes water is also needed and temporary or permanent water storage tanks should be built for storing a sufficient quantity of the water or water can be obtained by water tanks and it should be clear water should be clean and clear it should be free of any uh, impurities the drinkable water should be used for construction purposes okay and electric supply is necessary for modern building works as we all know that electric supply is very important and it is also important for later on when the construction phase is completed you will going to be need electric supply so in the beginning it is also very necessary to provide a facility of electricity for the construction purposes and for the temporary houses of the labor and site workers okay and the fourth and important point is matching of drawings with the site the following checks should be made on the drawing from which the layout is to be carried out the sum of the intermediate dimensions should match with those of the overall dimensions and the levels of various construction such as ground level with respect to road level and floor level etc are clearly shown in the drawing check whether the proposed building will actually fit into the plot with the mandatory distances specified by the municipal authority now coming towards the steps involved in layout of a building on site okay the first step is establish a benchmark as i mentioned in the previous slide that the check the actual the uh, ground levels and their respective levels as compared to road level and floor level so you will have to set up a benchmark and it should be 
permanent okay establish a benchmark from which all levels of various parts of the building can be established and which will not be disturbed during the building operations so benchmark should be established at a at such a point that it should not be disturbed by your routine works okay and the second step is mark baseline what is baseline baseline is actually the longest outer wall of the building is usually taken as the baseline this is marked with respect to the boundary as you can see over here if this is your boundary and this is the longest wall of your construction project or your building okay so baseline is selected then the third step is use 345 principle what is 345 principle it is actually method of application of the pythagoras theorem that is forming right angle as now baseline has been drawn then you will have to make a right angle you will have to take an offset at right angle to draw the other lines or you can say other outlines the outer boundaries of your uh, building okay so for this you will have to use 3 4 5 principles which states that as you can see over here if you consider this is the straight line or baseline of your project then you will have to set up three pegs let's suppose we set first peg at this distance at this point the second peg is at this point and what will be the where will be the third point and there the angle here is 90 degree so on the side how can you set up a 90 degree angle or a perpendicular line on a already drawn line so this theorem is used let's suppose you measure the distance of 4 feet or 4 meters on this line okay this distance is 4 feet and this distance is taken as 3 feet okay this distance is 3 feet or 3 meters so when you join the lines like this like a right angle triangle this distance should be equal to 5 feet if this distance this distance is 5 feet it's mean that these two lines that is baseline and the next line is perpendicular to each other so that's how you can put a perpendicular line on a baseline so you will have to repeat this procedure for all the corners of the building so that the lines are perpendicular to each other now step 4 is mark corners similarly you will mark the corners of the building as you can see over here if this is the corner of the building and the 3 4 5 rule will be applied on this to make the right angle triangle or make the 90 degree angle okay and then start from the baseline mark the corner points of the center line of the walls columns of a building okay the fifth step is using the corner points transfer the center line to the ground with dry lime by stretching lines between the pegs so after the outlines or you can say the the lines has been finalized and are perpendicular to each other then you will use the dry lime or you can say uh, or any plaster of paris to draw the lines on the ground for excavation purposes okay the sixth step is setting out of trenches for excavation of bearing walls as you can see over here this is the plan which can be drawn on the autocad which is called as layout plan in layout plan the details given are as you can see over here this is the column and the center to center distance of the column are given and the width of the bearing walls and or you can see uh, as you can see over here the distance of excavation is given over here which is 120 cm and the width of this excavation is 80 cm and this plan can be obtained easily from autocad which is called as layout plan having set up the center line of the corners and check the dimensions of the building on the ground we proceed to set out the lines for trenches using the center line already established okay so the first step involved in the layout of the uh, building project is to lay down the center lines okay as you can see over here you will lay down the center lines according to this plan given by an architect okay so then the aim of setting out trenches is to mark the directions and width of the excavation to be carried out and also to mark the width of the wall to be built 
this is carried out by using pegs or by profile boards okay and this is the layout profile and in this manner you can excavate the trenches for columns as you can see over here first of all the center lines are marked with the help of dory or you can say the threads okay then excavations are made as the widths are mentioned over here this is 80 centimeter and this width is 120 centimeters then excavation is carried out by taking the offsets from the center line of the columns so in this manner you can start the layout of a building and these steps should be followed one by one so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today